everyone. It's me, Zura. Um, I'm back, uh, finally. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a lot better, um, but I wanted to make a video because, uh, I'm doing kind of a comparison video a little bit, um, and I'm gonna kind of show you what, uh, the fairy lane, because I've had some questions about her, uh, what the fairy line Sia looks like standing next to uh, some Moe lines, because I have a Moe line girl, and I have a Moe line boy, um, and I also have all three colors, so, I figured I would show you a little bit about that, you're just gonna have to bear with me and my sniffles, coughing, wheezing, etc., because I am unfortunately still sick, but, this is my girl so far, um, she's yet unnamed, um, I'm leaning toward Leviathana, or Leviathina, or whatever, and her nickname would be Levy. I would call her Levy all the time. Or, uh, the other one that I'm leaning towards is Gaia. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm probably gonna wipe her face up. I mean, it's a beautiful face up, but I don't, it's just not for me. Um, and you know me. All of my dolls have custom face ups by me, so, um, I still need to paint her hands and her forearms here. Um, probably a little bit on the tail. Um with just coated tips, uh, sealant coated tips, because the tail is not, I, I'm sure there's a lot of videos, I know, uh, I believe Ricky Star <coughs> posted about her Sia body, uh, when she put her doll Dragon's Head on, who, the Sia body, the problems with the chipping, because Unfortunately, the Sia body isn't very conducive for moving, movement-wise, very much. I mean, I'll do I'll do a video later when I, um, later, uh, on the body, maybe a body review or something like that about, uh, because I have the blue body. A lot of people got like, I think that mint clear. My body is unpainted. It is not painted at all. You can see the magnet there through the sides and even on the tail there um but yeah I mean I, I'm going to paint it some way but it's probably not going to be super fancy like airbrush stuff because this tail because of the way it's formed because of the way it sits because of the way she sits on it because of the way she moves or you have to turn the tail to have her tail move a certain way it would just chip all the hell. Um, it wouldn't stay nice. It wouldn't stay pristine. And I don't want to deal with that. So I might like do some nice painting where it won't chip very much. Um, but otherwise, don't expect super fancy on her because um, I prefer a pose. I prefer posability to um, fancy body blushing. So, with that said, um, my Sia, oh dang, she getting washed out, okay, my Sia is in the middle, I have a Moe line Celine in tan skin, that is winter right there on the left, and then this is my Sia here in the middle, and then this is my boy Audra, he is the mini fee Halloween event head from, what, 2014? Something like that. His body is from 2015. She came in 2015 and she is a 2016. That's when I got her, is just the other day. Um, already right off the bat, you could tell the boy way taller than the girls. <laughs> way taller. Um, but I mean, he it is what it is. You, they're always gonna make boys way taller than girls, so it's just something to notice right off the bat. Um, if you're looking for relationship wise, if you're looking for more like same height, uh, I would do Moe line boy and an A line girl because I think they're similar heights. I know that A line girls are <laughs> a lot taller than poor winter, but I like the Moe line body. So that's why I got her. I'm actually considering switching Audrey cause I don't like how spindly and thin he is. Sorry guys, I know a lot of people are into that aesthetic, but 
I'm actually debating about whether or not I should sell his boy line body and switch him to normal because I feel he needs a little meat on his bones. Just for his character. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know what I'll do. I might... I don't know. <laughs> I have a friend who would be interested in it if I did that, so we'll see what happens. But right off the bat, you notice that if you want a mini fee boy um, for relationship with a mermaid like Sia, um, there's quite a bit of a height difference. Um, you're going to run into some problems with height difference if that's a thing for you. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's chill. It's whatever. You know, because some people want that huge height difference um, in their relationships and in their stories, what have you. But for um, doll-wise, it's a little bit of a height difference. However, that said, if they're laying together and they're not just it's standing next to one another, there's a height difference. Laying down is a whole new mess of cards because her tail extends quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to move her because it was a pain in the butt just to get to stand her up. Um, that's the other thing I wish um, that they had was like maybe a notch system in her body so that like her tail might click into place um, a little bit better. That way she stands better or she sits better. Um, I almost, I, I mean, I'll probably go through and see about hot glue suading, which might help a little, but I think that wiring might be necessary for her body. Um, yeah, <laughs> wiring might ne definitely be necessary for the body. We haven't, we haven't looked because unfortunately right here is where the stringing stops and it's just the curl of the tail which I'm actually looking at taking this little part of the tail the curl around and stretching it out and seeing maybe if she gets more stability that way and also because she's supposed to be a snake not a seahorse curly tail so <clears throat> that will change eventually once I get around to that project but right here is like where the stringing stops and it just goes up like that so I mean, wire might help up to yay there. Um, which, I mean, that would help right here with this problem. Here, standing here. I had to get it and finagle it so where these two little notches here uh, helped stabilize her. Um, and I think that's what they wanted. I'm not quite sure. But that's how I did it, so that's how I stood her up. <laughs> and then I used, so one, two, and then three for stability. Three-legged kind of stability looking thing there. If you have problems standing your Sia up, which quite a few people have done. So, um, this is just stuff to keep in mind if you're getting a Sia, have gotten a Sia, are looking for a Sia, are looking for a love interest for a Sia. Um, just stuff to really keep in mind um, if you're looking to get more B like MSDs, mini fees for a doll family. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that, but that's just a little bit of information because I've had some questions about my Sia, um, and like what, how she poses, and yada yada. Oh, I did see that in the BJD Addicts page that a girl had said that her Sia smell, her tail smelled really, really bad. I opened my Sia and she smelled pretty bad. Um, not like disgusting, like, oh my gosh, it smells like vomit bad. Um, it was just a really strong scent of resin. And when she, like, I, like, sat her out on, like, a shelf a couple of nights here, overnight here. And now she doesn't smell, like, really nasty anymore. Um, and I did that with her spare parts, too, just in case, um... I do have a friend that has a Sia. Uh, she bought a Sia and got hers way before me because she bought straight from the company. Straight up paid for it in full. So, 
course she got hers way before me because I'm a layaway whore. Um, but she decided to make her see a, um, see a body anyway. A male. And I think she got the mint green. Um, but she's making hers a male. And hopefully here in the next month or so, I'll be able to go visit her or something like that. And I will do like a see a comparison of... Because I think she put the mini fee event head on the body and the male bust that came with it on the Sia head or on the Sia body. So I'll do like maybe a male versus female look in comparison maybe. If I have time, if I run into her, if I, <laughs> if I meet up with her, <laughs> any of that jazz. Uh, but I just uh, figured I'd like clue you in a little bit about... What's going on in my world? Um, yeah. So, that's, uh, basically it for now. <laughs> I keep saying that. It's it for now. Ramble, ramble, ramble. It's it for now. But, this is definitely it, so. Thank you, everybody, who commented in the BJ Addicts Facebook page and tried to help me name my doll. Um, all of your comments were wonderful and much appreciated. And, uh, if you have any ideas for names that, or if you liked one of those names that I mentioned earlier for her, um, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below and I will get back to you. Um, and if you have any more questions or you think of anything else, maybe I'll post it in the next video when I do like maybe a body review. So... Uh, and if you want me to do a body review, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below in there, too. So, alright, everyone. I will talk to you later. Um, I'm getting shaky hands. So, you guys have a great rest of your night. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed our little video room tour kind of looking thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. These are all the skin colors. He's on natural skin, natural tone. She is white skin and obviously blue. And then she is tan skin. So, if you didn't obviously know that, yeah. Okay, <laughs> good night. <laughs>